Hi guys, welcome to The Secrets of Florence. So first off, we have the bell tower, which only rings in very special circumstances. The last time it rang was the flood of 1966. Next, we have Dante's rock, which is the true rock of Dante. He used to sit here and meditate and think and look at the Duomo. Um, this is the ugly building. Florentines think this is very funny. They call it uh, the ugly faces, um, and they're just all over the wall. Florence used to have somewhere between 200 and 250 towers. They were all built by elites in the Middle Ages, and they represent them fighting each other for power, and many of the towers still exist today. So this is the story of the statue of the bull in the Duomo. It's just a random bull. It has no particular meaning, but one story is a baker had a shop out front the Duomo, um, and the baker's wife had an affair with one of the architects working on the Duomo. When they were broken up, um, because people were, they said they couldn't be together, as revenge, he placed a bull to look over his shop and always remind the baker of the story. Uh, in Italian, when you do the horns with your uh, fingers, it means someone is unfaithful, so that was representative of that. This next one was a the top of the Duomo, which is a golden ball, fell off one time, and this white circle spot on the ground represents that spot where it fell. Next, we have an architect who didn't like the arches that were at the top of the Duomo and just decided to stop. Next, we have this plaque that represents the 1844 flood, um, and then that plaque above is the 1966 flood, which marks the water levels of both floods. Uh, the statue of David in Piazza Signoria is actually fake, and the real one was moved to the Academia because during the rebellion against the Medici, someone threw furniture out the window, and another time it actually got struck by lightning, so they decided to move it to be safe. Michelangelo got critique of how big the nose was of the David, so he tricked people into thinking he fixed it after hearing their critiques, um, but he was really just throwing marble dust around. Um, and this is Poseidon, who is also... He is one of the only real statues still in the square. And we have a face that uh, Michelangelo carved into the side of the Palazzo Vecchio.